Well, how's it going everyone? Boy from BZ Up. Today we're gonna be fishing one day at Weeping Willows. I thought this would be fun. People enjoyed the last one day at Blue Crab and I thought, you know what, let's do a day at, uh, at Weeping Willows. It's one of my favorite places to fish, honestly. Uh, so much fun, so many fish, and I'm gonna just go through one day, a few changes I'm gonna be doing today just for the funsies. Just, just for funsies. Um, but before we do any of that, we need to make our bait. So I'm gonna do that. You, how about hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, pack your tackle boxes in. Let's get into it, everyone. got our mix now the H cap a mix good deal good deal so what I was talking about changing some stuff up we do have our carp rods um, nothing's changed there but I do have two bottom rods I've been hearing about people catching stuff on bottom rods we've got sinkers on at the moment um, I'm gonna be throwing over over the spot that we usually do with our carp rods. You know, we don't have any uh, feeders hooked up to our carp rods because we're throwing it on top of our spot. But um, if that isn't working, the game's not giving us anything. I do have closed feeders that we can throw on here and then put our spot, our mix inside the feeders. So that's my goal today, everyone. We're gonna give those a try, see if we can catch anything on that. But before we do that, let's go ahead and get eight to ten spots out on one location this is one of my favorite spots we're gonna toss it out here open up all that spot mix and do this seven more times now alrighty me being me I lost track of how many I had but I hope that's eight you know, let's throw out one more, just for good measure. Because I always lose track of how many I threw out there, but we'll call this one good after that. <laughs> maybe maybe that's the lucky throw. All right, now we've got our citrus pop-up boilies on our carp rods. So we're gonna toss those out here. That one was a little overthrown. we will reel that in a few feet. And then we'll just get our other rods out here as well. And I've got the fruit rods, which we'll throw out here two those will be interesting to try out i've got marichi palm fruit on one of them i've got like four different fruits and seeds oh no well what in the freaking world why was our leader maxed out strange there's a grass carp down there um but let's get our last rod out here before we start reeling more things in and breaking them off Oh, we got a fish on now, but that's why it's always good to have backups of your gear just in case something crazy like that does happen. That's a big fish, man. That's a good size mirror there, it looks like. That's a solid fish, man. I'm totally not paying attention to the other rods right now. This is... Look at the size of him. He's like two feet up and down. My goodness gracious. We gotta get this guy in. All the other rods are going off right now, but I don't even care. Watch this guy be nothing big, nothing special. <laughs> He's coming up way over here. Be nice if I could get him in real quick. That way we could get back to those other rods. Look at the size of him. Good gracious. Goodness gracious. Come in, man. He might not be as big as I was hoping he'd be, but he's he's decent size. Oh, had him skiing on top to us for a second there. Oh, we got him. Got him. We can't see him because of the grass. There we got him. What do we got here? 63 pound. Okay. Still unique anyway. Always fun to catch these guys. Big old unique carp. That's pretty. Good looking fish, everybody. Good start to the day. 63 pound mirror. Keep him. 3,400 XP. Not bad either. Let's see how many rods we have out of place. Just one. Marichi fruit i believe well that makes me feel better i was really really thinking we were gonna have all of our rods messed up that is just okay it's like listening to a symphony all these freaking beeping go okay there goes one of them common here it looks like oh and there goes the marichi again kind of curious if we can get it's a it's a mirror carp so i don't think we're gonna get uh another unique out of it so get him in here Boy, that was really easy. Trophy mirror there. Trophy mirror there. Now I'll see about this guy. I don't want to get too far away from my rods because that uh, bottom rod was a sign of anything. Fairly easy to reel them in on the bottom rods. 
Like they're 20 pounds stronger or something like that. So I mean, it should make quick work of both stuff. This would be a small unique if that's what it is, but no, it's trophy. Trophy common there, okay. I see you, it'll work. Ooh, got a grassy on now. Let's see if this is a uh, Nooni here. Get in here, bro. Nice, there we go. Okay, so we got an Uni mirror so far and an unique uh, grassy as well. Top notch, 2,900 bucks, 2,000 XP. I'll take it, I'll take it. Now, as many of you know, for the most part, um, as far as these legs go, Weeping Willows, the way I understand it is that you can get one unique um, of each type of carp at each uh, lake, and then you kind of have to change the time and, and try it again. So it is always worth like, trying to catch as many as you can in one location, and then moving on to another lake. Now I've got a few different spots uh, throughout here that I can uh, mix it up, go for some other stuff. But, uh, but yeah, if you can keep it going, catch a few uniques at one spot, go to another spot, it is possible to get more than one unique from one location, but in my experience, you have to catch them at the same time. Like, you have to have one rod go off, and then you have to have another rod go off. And if they happen to both be unique mirrors, that's usually the only way you get two uniques of the same type um, at one location. But, you know, crazier things have happened, so I wouldn't be surprised if someone else has had a different experience. Finally, I had one on the rubber tree fruit. This one actually is max drag, so... I was curious if we'd ever get one on it. it seemed like the Marichi was doing pretty well. It is another trophy, okay. So um, yeah, I'm kind of curious if uh, you know what it's gonna take. Keep catching trophies might throw that uh, that uh, feeder on there. See if, it, if that helps at all, I guess. Alrighty, another little fish here. I think might take that as a sign that I can experiment with some uh, some other fruit types. Let's go ahead and try, I don't know, try the Camu Camu. We got another fish on there, but let's throw this out here real quick. Switch to that other rod. Oh yeah, he's racing. Oh, I'm not sure if it's a leather or a mirror here. I think it might be another mirror. In that case, we might be dealing with the trophy, but he is taking out quite a bit of line. So who's say we already got our unique mirror for the day though at least in this location but he is taking out a lot of line coming straight into us now though come here you yeah football huh? no trophy mirror cool i'll take it something anyway right i'm still surprised that we're not getting as many uniques as i'm used to lots of beeping going on just just threw this one back out there and now it's got another fish on can't tell what it is at the moment though could be a leather could be another mirror doesn't seem too big though so who's to say well Looks like it could be leather actually, which would be nice because we don't have a unique leather yet. So this could potentially be a, a unique, you know, it's taking us out to 100 feet. Didn't look that big when he got close to us, but hey, Noonie's Noonie, right? All righty, got him in. What do we got here? Unique leather. Yep, 58 pounds. Top notch. Well, pretty fish. I've caught a, a mirror and I've been able to uh, touch that leathery skin. It is, uh, it is something. Until you catch a carp that has that skin, it's hard to imagine what it feels like. You think it might be slimy like a catfish, but it's it's really not. Go. Top not. Got him. Yeah, the best thing I can describe it as is like uh, when you catch a shark and it's uh it's kind of rough sandpaper, like a wet sandpaper or something like that. It's kind of what it feels like. Another common on here. Taking out a little bit of line, but shouldn't be that big of a deal. And we haven't caught a ghost yet, um, like a unique ghost anyway. I don't think we've caught a unique common either, honestly. But there we go. <laughs> now we have. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, there we go. Now we need a ghost and a grassy, I believe. Got that guy on the rubber tree seed. 56 pounds, I believe. Yep, 56. This is going to be nothing. Well, they're certainly going after the fruit. They're not big fish. Doesn't seem anyway. But, uh... That's worth trying. This out, and then we'll get our other carp rod out again. Try that. Oh, so we have got a unique grass. Okay, so we're missing a unique ghost. Is that it? Trying to think back. Is that really the only other fish we're missing? I think that's what it is. It's a unique ghost. Ghost, grass, leather, mirror. Yep, okay. Alrighty. Alright. Oh, there's our ghost. I was kind of curious, because we lost that one fish in the beginning, and I was thinking, what if that was the unique ghost, and it's not going to give us another one? But this is the unique ghost, then that will be it. Then we can move on to a different location and try to catch more mirrors there. Or uh, more uniques. Mirrors. I mean, it probably will catch us there. That's not all we'll be chasing down. Now, for those that don't know this, a ghost is a cross between a koi and another type of uh, car. Usually is what ghost means and as far as I understand it but it's nice to uh it's nice to catch all these fish given that I was in a uh carp fishing tournament this last weekend and uh did not catch a fish the entire time <laughs> so this is really helping my self-esteem 
53 pound carp here. Very nice. You need ghosty. That's gonna do it for this location. We're gonna go ahead. We don't even need to move the rods. We're just gonna go straight to this island. And uh, and I like to cast off um, toward this little marker pylon over here. And so we'll give this a shot. Maybe catch a few more. And, uh, and then move on to a different location before the end of the day. But of course, got to put out our spots again. The most fun part of weaving willows. I don't know how people don't enjoy this part. It's just so much fun throwing out spot after spot after spot. <laughs> I think at this location I might try the, uh, the feeder on the bottom rods. Just to, just to try something, see if that helps with their hookup rates, that sort of thing. But we've got all this spot out here, obviously. So I doubt that it's really gonna help, but might as well try something while we're out here or else we'll never know. Okay, I'm fairly sure that that was eight. So that will do there. Let's go ahead and get our rods out now. Throw them over top. Boop, there. Now I don't think I usually catch as many fish here, but let's give it a try. See how sometimes we may look out. A lot of beeping going on already. But like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on those uh, those feeders here. Nothing different, should work just fine. We're gonna go ahead and throw that kappa mix in there, that that's in there, and I think we might change up what, well, this is the only one we haven't tried yet, the Yuari palm fruit. So rubber tree seeds, we've actually caught uh, an uni on, so keep that on there. But let's throw this out there. That this is the worry palm fruit. Should be all good now. All right, we got our first taker, and it's not one of the carp rods. That's interesting. You know, despite these being like super strong compared to the carp rods, like the carp rods are 56 pounds, and this guy is oh, 76 pounds or something like that. So it's got 20 pounds on it. We still get a pretty decent fight with these carp. Got a nice uh, mirror here. It looks like and after the rubber tree seeds. Oh, Rush. Oh, we were so close. Get in here, buddy. Get in here, buddy. I hear lots of beeping, but I'm not sure if there's a take yet. Got him. Got him. What do we got? Oh, it is a unique mirror. Right on, on the rubber tree seeds. Sweet. $3,700 there. Or 3,700 XP. All right, we got two on now. This fish... Just wanted to give some attention. I'll switch it out with this one, see what this is. I think this is a smaller mirror here, or leather, a little leather there. This guy reeled in now. Never a dull moment once, you, once they start going, you know. You're usually pretty busy. This looks to be a little common. I'm not sure if it's gonna be, it's sure fighting a lot, but it doesn't seem to be that big. I think it's gonna be a trophy. No, it is a unique, wow, just a small one, 44 pounds, but a unique's a unique, eh? Top notch, well good work. Toss him back out there, and toss this back out here. I guess I told him. I did not toss the carp back out there. <laughs> we uh, we kept him. Hmm, another fish here. Wow, it's the smallest one of the day. I think that's what's getting me about these fruit rods, is that, uh, man, we are just getting some really small fish with them. It's kind of crazy. Uh, we're like like the range of fish that we're getting you know we're catching uniques but we're also catching a young common carp like that's a i don't think i've experienced that little trophy grass there i don't think i've experienced that on the carp rods with the 10 out hooks so that's it's pretty interesting we're gonna throw these both out there first it'll let me i thought this one was already filled up gonna be able to pull it off goodness gracious they're already going Okay, I, I can't tell what it is. It looks like a common, the thing is. We already have a unique common, but, like I said, wouldn't hold it back. Now this looks like a ghosty. A little bit better. I know people love the beeping sounds. I know you're all really excited about the beeping sounds. People tell me all the time the beeping is their favorite part of the live stream. And I know why. I love it too. Oh, we lost him, but we got a trophy ghost. Interesting. I'm kind of curious what that common was. Since it immediately took us out for a bunch of line, even though we'd already caught a unique common. But we'll get those in here. Toss this back out. Sure, creating a lot of drag on that anyway. 
I don't know why I said drag. Bend is what I meant to say. It was causing a lot of bend on. Another common carp here. Gonna be a trophy. 29 pound trophy. Okay. So what I was very curious about was if we started catching uniques on these fruit rods, which is, you know, kind of give and take. We haven't caught a ton. In fact, I don't think we've caught a unique on any of these fruits so far. We've caught them on the rubber tree seeds, but maybe I just haven't given the fruits enough time. Um, but I did bring larger hooks, you know, with the carp rods, you can only use a size 10 carp hook, but I mean, they have 11 knots and 12 knots and 14, 13, whatever, uh, of the other hooks or the other bottom rods. So that's why I was curious. I was like, well, if we start catching them on the fruit rods, I can always, always wait for my alarm to go off. Um, I could always switch and add, you know, a larger hook and see if they go after that. That might be... If, if they did go after an 11 odd or 12 odd or something like that, that could be a good way to get into uh, a, a larger fish, but the game probably doesn't work that way. <laughs> I still haven't gotten a good look at this fish, but I'm hopeful that it's a uh, leather carp, because that is like one of the fish that we're missing right now. Yeah, it does look like it could be a leather carp. Got him in the 40s now. Now he's back out. Right when I say that, take us out back to the 50s. Just saying, you know, oh, you're freaking liars, basically what they're trying to say. Got him in the last 30 feet. Just right here. Come on, man. This is when you start screaming, give up on life, as I uh, find myself saying all the time. 61 pound mirror, or leather there. God, man, I'm just struggling with the types of fish these days. There we go. Top notch, you know. Love it. 4,900 bucks, 3,400 XP. That's how we do, eh? That's how we do. Oh, oh, we got a fish on. Picking up the wrong rod, classic. A lot of drag there, but oh. If this is a nope it's not i was gonna say if this is a grassy it might be i don't think we've got a unique grassy over here yet but it's a little common a little trophy common all right so going off of this it looks like we still need a ghosty and a grassy out of this spot whether that can happen i don't know another taker on this one don't think it's either of those two that we're missing that's why we were able to reel them in so easily another trophy leather there tell you what even if we're not catching all the uniques right now, we are getting very close to filling up our 925 pound keep net, which is pretty crazy. But that's Weeping Willows for you. And now we've got another one on this. And seeing a little bit of red down there isn't a good sign, given that we're looking for a ghost. Oh my God, how many freaks do I have? Looking for a ghost in a grassy. It's um, it's 5.30 in the morning, if you're all wondering. Put that back out there. All right. Another fish that we're not looking for. I just love that we're catching so many fish, but they're not what we need. We've got a lot of trophies, honestly. We have 822 pounds right now. And to end it, I think we're going to try out in a brand new spot that I've never fished at before. I was looking on the map. I'd like to get another spot real close that I can fish. Doesn't take a lot of time to spot out. And this spot was what I found. I was looking around. You have to zoom in more to get, I mean, they don't show up otherwise you know so you have to zoom in more this one was really close i just lost my voice <coughs> this one was really close to the bank so i thought let's give this a shot because if this is another really good spot then we'll have three really close spots super easy to spot out and uh yeah be pretty sweet we'll be uh pretty set over here at weeping willows okay once again, lost track. It was either eight or nine. I think we're good. Let's get out the rod pods. The rod pod. And, uh, yeah. Try some fishing, I suppose. Well, we got our first taker. It is... What do we got here? Common? Very common. I love how when we set the hook on him, he was already at, like, 30 feet or something like that. Come on, dude. You're so close to just being netted. Oh, this is the moment. Oh, it's a trophy. I was gonna say, man, if we could get into some uniques, that would be the best. Jeez, there's still time. So it's, uh, it's kind of strange that like they take the like they take the bait, but they don't seem to like run with it. Every every fish that we've caught here so far has just kind of like gone, do 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 do, and just kind of like just kind of 
fades off. It doesn't really like go fast or anything like that. I think that's what's throwing me off about this spot right now, but this seems to be a pretty decent fish. Yeah, I think we got our first unique here, boys. This is gonna be cool. Not sure what he is. I know he's a leather or a mirror, but I don't know which one. Oh yeah, mirror here. Yeah, nice, 70 pound unique mirror, dude. Seriously, that is what I'm talking about, man. That's what we needed. That's what we needed for this spot. Some proof, some proof of a good fish, man. That's awesome. Cool, well that will work, eh? 4,000 XP as well. Man, that rod is going. Look, come on, grab it, you know? Rod is going, bro. Little guy, seems to be. He's actually not too little. I think it might be another trophy here. What? Are you serious? <laughs> so there you go. That's a perfect example. Perfect example of what we talked about in the beginning there. How we had one unique mirror we hadn't kept yet. And uh, and we were holding, taking some photos. And then sure enough, the next fish we caught that's, that took off as as we were holding the other one. Another unique mirror. Top notch. Well, I think that's gonna do it, everyone. 968 pounds of fish. I'm kind of curious. Let's uh, kind of curious to see what, how much, how much money we got here. Yeah, cool. 82,000. Not too shabby, I suppose. Anywho, I think this was fun. Always fun to do a day of fishing with you all. Glad you could all be here. If you made it this far, let's see. Um. Let's go. It's getting close to Halloween. What's your uh, what's your favorite candy? Halloween candy. I'd love to hear it down in the comments. Let me know. Um, if you haven't hit the like button by now, maybe consider doing so. And if you're new to the BZ Hub and you haven't subscribed yet, then consider doing that as well. Become a part of the hub, everyone. My God, we're just near 40,000 at the moment. Should be pretty sweet if you're watching this in the future and uh, we're past 40,000. I, I don't know. Comment, comment it down below. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see. Anywho, uh, this should be fun. Everyone, if you want to check us out on our live streams every Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central, make sure you do that as well. Love to have you during the live stream. It's always a ton of fun. But until the next episode, everyone, take care. And as always, remember everyone. Easy Hub Halloween Extravaganza, featuring episodes of spooky games sure to give you a fright, and seven all new monster fish missions in Fishing Planet sure to get every ghoul and goblin trembling, all coming this 2022 Halloween season. Be there or be Bjorn Food. We're one planet, one family. Game on.